Welcome to your Tutor Online video podcast. In today's lesson, I'll teach you how to convert any unit of measure to another, as long as you know the conversion ratio. I'll speak for myself here and say I have a hard time remembering tons of different formulas in order to convert units, and whether to multiply or divide, even if I do know the unit of measure. If you use the method I'm about to show you, you won't be confused anymore, and you'll get the correct answer 100% of the time. Let's say we want to convert 25 centimeters to millimeters. Well, we know that there are 100 centimeters in one meter, and we also know that there are 1,000 millimeters in one meter but it's a little hard to figure out how to put those two together to go from centimeters to millimeters. No problem. First, let's start, set up a chart that looks something like this. It's going to have two rows, and we're just going to draw one column for now. In the very top left spot, we're going to put the number we want to convert, 25. And also, very important, is we want to include the units. 25 centimeters. Now we already know that there are 100 centimeters in one meter, just like we said before, and a thousand millimeters in one meter. So if we go from centimeters to meters, then meters to millimeters, we'll have our problem solved. We're going to draw one more column for now and we're going to put our first conversion ratio into this column. To determine whether which number goes on top and which one goes on the bottom, we're going to look at our original, the centimeters, and opposite the side is going to, that's where the other centimeters is going to go. So since centimeters is on top here, centimeters will go on the bottom down here. 100 is with the centimeters and one meter goes on top. We're going to repeat the process one more time to go from meters to millimeters and that goes in this last column. Meters is on top here so we want to do the opposite, put meter on the bottom over here and the thousand millimeters goes on top. To make sure that you set the chart up correctly, we're going to make sure that all the units cancel out except for the unit of measure we were converting to. So we're just going to treat this chart like we were multiplying fractions together. So anything in the numerator can cancel out anything in the denominator. Centimeter is on, up top, the centimeter is on the bottom so they cancel out. Meter and meter cancel out and we're left with millimeters. As long as the only unit we're left with is on top and it's not crossed out, we set up the chart correctly. Now it's just a simple multiplying fractions problem. Uh, before you get started, you want to make sure that you cancel out anything that can cancel out. I see there's 100 in the denominator and 100 in the numerator, so we'll simplify that. And now all we have is 25 times 10 is 250. Since the only unit that's not cancelled out is millimeters, final answer is 250 millimeters. I want to show you just one more really easy example. How many pounds is 48 ounces? We're going to set up our chart. I'm going to put 48 here. 48 ounces with the units. And then uh, you might need to look it up. Uh, you can look it up in a dictionary if you need to. Uh, ounces to pounds. We know you'll find out that 16 ounces is equal to one pound. So since we have this conversion, we're going to put 16 on the bottom so that the ounces will cancel out. And we're going to put pound on top. Now we should see ounces cancel out. And this is 48 
divide it by 16, which is equal to 3 pounds. If you have any suggestions for future lessons, email us at podcast at yourtutoronline.com. If you need more help with this or other topics, visit www.yourtutoronline.com to find a tutor, or just send an email to tutor at yourtutoronline.com. We provide online tutoring services in the virtual classroom you just saw in this video. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast and iTunes to get the latest videos. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Class dismissed.